experience. But at any rate, today our trainer is going to be Michael Huggins, and we're pleased to have him with us. We're, uh, it's always good to hear what he says. He brings such enthusiasm to the group, and he's always such a good um, role model. It's interesting to look back. Uh, it's hard for me to imagine. I didn't know him when he was working at Jiffy Lube at, the, at Sears Automotive Centers, but it'll be uh, awesome to see him, to listen to him today. Michael, how are you today? Michael, are you with us? Michael Huggins, calling Michael Huggins. Are you with us today? Sounds like Michael Huggins is uh, tied up somewhere else or is having trouble getting logged on. Does anybody have anything they'd like to present to the group this morning? Anybody have any questions? Does anybody want to share any uh, if events that have happened this week with them? Share some of their successes with us. Hey, this is Dan Knickerbocker. Hey. Good morning, Dan. How are you? Hey, all right. Uh, it sounded like someone else was going to speak up right at the same time I did, but I just wanted to pitch in real quick that we had a wonderful game of cash flow last night with Pono Asano and uh, some others. Uh, it was a new way of doing the cash flow game for us. We learned a lot, and we're going to be doing it again tonight. So I uh, just wanted to put that out there. I appreciate it, Dan. I wish you success with that. I'm glad it was a good night last night. It's a uh... It's an amazing game. It's always fun to see the uh, the new ideas trickle into people's minds as they play it for the first time. Who else have we got on the line? Hey, this is Geraldine Nunu out in Denver. Geraldine, and I just wanted to share that we. Hey, good morning. Uh, I just wanted to share that we had a great team activity this weekend. We went and did some work at the Denver Rescue Mission here, uh, Center for the Homeless, and it was a nice time to have some team bonding and get to know each other in a little bit different way outside of our normal entrepreneurial aspect of life. So just thought if any of the other teams are out there and not doing that, I encourage you to go ahead and give it a try. Well, thank you. That's what, what I wanted to share. What a great opportunity that was, and, and to show that we do live in an abundant world and to, to help other people that haven't been so fortunate as we are. Thank you for sharing. Absolutely. You're welcome. Thank you. Who else has had some neat opportunities or neat experiences this week they'd like to share? Hi, this is Shelly Reeder. Can you hear me? Good morning, Shelly. How are you? I'm fabulous. Thank you for asking. I appreciate that. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to share some things. You know, I'm working on like three houses right now. It's kind of been a little bit stressful in that, but it's been very exciting. Um, and everything's coming along really well with that. And then I just wanted to share, um, like, uh, what I've been really practicing is one of Michael's um, takeaways where he talks about you know, when the playing a perfect game. So that's kind of what I've been doing in my life right now. But um, so just trained to play the perfect game. However, <laughs> I've been getting mayonnaise sandwiches lately, and I hate mayonnaise, <laughs> but I'm still <laughs> declaring it perfect, no matter what. So I really um, think that that's really important is just declaring everything perfect, your day perfect. Um, when you wake up in the morning, just say, you know, this is the day that, you know, the Lord has given us and Let's rejoice and be glad in it and call it a perfect day. 
So that's what I've been doing that's changed my life um, drastically. And it's just made my days seem a little bit easier, a little bit better. And things seem to go really well for me now and being in gratitude as well. So I've also really been focusing on being in gratitude and being thankful for for the people that are in my life, my family, my friends, and for the opportunities that come in my life, and the growing, um, you know, the growing that comes in my life. Um, you know, when you when you're struggling, or Michael always says, you're not growing unless you're struggling. And I liken it to, uh, you know, a caterpillar who's, you know, blooming into a, a beautiful butterfly. And, um, you know, with doing these three properties, that's kind of where what's been go happening with me is I'm like struggling and it's been scary my heart's been pounding in that um but i know that i'm stretching and i'm growing and um for the next for the next opportunity to present itself to me so i'm everything we do every day prepares us for the next great opportunity and then then i'll probably struggle through that as well and i'll grow through that and i'll stretch through that but like michael always says i'll declare it perfect um he also said you know, when something's offered, when something's offered, always take it. So, you know, even though I got these sandwiches that had mayonnaise on them, <laughs> and I hate mayonnaise, they were offered to me, so I took them, and I even ate them. So, um, so whatever's offered to you, take it. And um, then also there's that, he says, whatever's um, suggested, do it. And I always, this is kind of always my motto, I've always told my mom and my um, significant other, David, I've always said, you know, if you hear that little voice inside you that tells you to do something, you need to act upon that. Um, and some examples for me were I was going to get some chips and salsa from Trader Joe's and I was downtown and I drove by the homeless. And then there was something inside of me that said I needed to go down, down there and I need to be a, of service there. And that was actually scary for me, too, because that's, you know, kind of an environment I'm not used to being in. Um, but I did it. And I, yeah, so I, I did it. And uh, because it was suggested to me, that little voice inside me said to do it. So every time that little voice says something, I always act upon it um, now. Um, because that's kind of your intuition guiding you and directing you to the right path and to the right opportunities. So if you ever hear that, always, always follow that. That's one thing that, that I always do, and I believe that it's brought me peace and happiness and, um, you know, success. And it gets you also, when you're having a hard time with yourself, it'll get you out of yourself sometimes. Because then one time I was, you know, in the McDonald's drive through and they said, you know, pay for the person's uh, meal behind me. So I did that. And it just makes you feel better. And it helps you, you know, just, just to expand and grow. So that's all I'd like to share. I think it's just been some great things for me that have been that I've been working on and doing and hopefully you guys can take them and implement them as well thanks Ron Shelly I sure appreciate that appreciate you sharing that and you know that attitude of gratitude can change our whole lives uh, I know that I took the EMT course recently with Michael Huggins what an excellent opportunity and I know he's got a new course coming up in October if you haven't had that opportunity please take it if you have a uh, an opportunity wherever you are. I know this is in the Salt Lake area, but it was it was definitely something that moved us out of our comfort zones in that class. It really kicked our butts. And, uh, you know, we found out that there was a lot of gratitude to be had and found when you find yourself outside your comfort zone. And it was kind of a new experience for me in some ways because I'm someone that is firmly rooted in my comfort zone. And, uh, that attitude of gratitude. He had his list 50 things we're grateful for every day for several weeks. And at first he's like, oh my gosh, how am I gonna find 50? And then the page starts filling up as you start looking around and then that mindset kicks in, uh, being grateful for what we've got, grateful for the little things, grateful for even just looking out and seeing beautiful green grass. And, and knowing that the seasons are going to be changing soon, and I'm even grateful for that. So it, it, it starts this mental habit of looking for, for more things in this, in this abundance mindset, and we can pass that around to others as we, we reach out, as, as Shelley said, listen to that little small voice and, and reach out to others. Anybody else? Who would, who would like to share with us next?
again, I know we're living in a, in a state of abundance and uh, we've had lots of good opportunities. So listen to a few of us out there in the, the Salt Lake area. I know we've got more team members from around the country. How is it going around the rest of the country? I know we've got success in Hawaii and in Seattle, Denver, Arizona, other places. Come on. Hi, uh, this is Eric Webb from Salt Lake. Hi, Eric. Hey, how's it going? Good. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for hosting. Um, I just uh, recently got my first fix and flip under contract this last week. And so I just wanted to to share with everyone that the uh, that the process works. You just need to work, just keep keep working at it, and you'll you'll get what you're looking for. Well, that's absolutely right. Uh, congratulations on your first fix and flip. How did you find that, Eric? I found that actually through a realtor that I've been working with, trying to find some some flip properties and. He brought it to my attention and we were able to get it under contract. The purchase price was 130 and it's in Ogden, Utah. And the repairs are estimated to be around 30,000. And the comps come in around 205, I think is a pretty safe one. So we can make 30, $40,000 profit. Excellent. That sounds fantastic. And that's your very first one, huh? Yep, that is the first one. Well, it'll be the first of many, and it's uh, isn't that the great thing being in in Renatus and Team Elevate is is when we have something new, we can share it with other people that are interested in encouraging us to do our very best. Yeah, definitely. That's a that's an amazing thing. Well, thanks again, Eric. Good luck with your project. All right, appreciate it. Thank you. Who else would like to share with us? Anybody else would like to share an experience, an opportunity, some successes that they've had this week? Anybody had an experience meeting new contacts, new prospects, new guests? This week I ran into a friend of mine that I used to work with back when I had a J-O-B. Uh, it was a great place for 30 years and it was a good job, but I'm, I'm grateful to, to be able to take in the retirement opportunities and begin a new life. But I met this old friend there and I saw Mark at the grocery store and it was a wonderful chance to catch up again and everything. I asked what he was up to and of course he asked what I was up to and uh, I'm just, more than pleased to share the, the excitement that I've got. And uh, he wanted to know more about that. So I invited him to an open house we had last night, a property tour. And it was wonderful. It was hosted uh, in Sandy and we had a great team there. We had great prospects and he was very excited. He was, he was pleased that there's maybe an opportunity for him that he could have a life that isn't quite so busy. He'd like to be more effective as a, as a grandfather to his four-year-old granddaughter to pick her up from school and to take her with him as he's doing his business. He thought this would be a wonderful opportunity, and I'm excited to share it with him. Anybody else meet uh, some neat contacts this week? We've got 56 participants this morning, and uh, I know we've had some good contacts out there. Don't hey, be this is, We're among friends. This is Anthony from Seattle. Anthony, how's everything in Seattle? Oh, it's been awesome. Uh, the rain started to return, otherwise it's been great out here. Good. Um, so I've been working on a deal here in Bellevue, and uh, I managed to took me about three months worth of negotiation, and... Uh, about four contracts backwards and forwards, and we managed to close uh, a week ago on Friday at 850000 
And wow. I, re I relisted the property at 990000 and we had offers of up to $1.1 million on the property. Anthony, that's wonderful. Um, however, we've decided to add value because that's what we do as real estate investors. And we, we're in the process of uh, rehabbing product, the project. And we're going to open up the kitchen, put granite tops, upgrade the appliances, paint the property, uh, and just make it look absolutely spectacular and put it back on the market. Well, Anthony, what an excellent story. I appreciate you sharing that with us. That's a, quite an adventure you're having. Yeah, we had an amazing property tour. We had about uh, 45 people at the property tour. And then they all came to my place afterwards, we had a barbecue, and uh, we enjoyed it and, and we're grateful as we do within the Renatus group. Boy, it sounds like you're kicking it there. That's fantastic. Cool. I hope everybody else has got some stuff to share. Well, thank you for sharing that, Anthony. Yeah, who else would like to, to share something? I know there's somebody out there that has that little voice Shelly was talking about saying, maybe I ought to get on and share my experience. Don't be shy. We're, we're among friends. Oh, hi. I just, this is, this is Kim Morrell, and I'm from the Atlanta, Georgia area, and I just got connected with your call. I'm really appreciative to, to get more training and to Kim. see what's going on in your area. But I had a great experience, and I know it's with my warm market. It's been really hard for me to um, market the Renatus uh, education to my warm market, but I just want to encourage everyone to, you know, never give up. And um, uh, my daughter, family, uh, she joined the Renatus uh, community, and she's in the Houston, Texas area, even though that, you know, she experienced some, you know, the storms and the hurricane and, you know, a lot of people lost a lot of things, but um, she chose this time to, um, to I guess, uh, start a new beginning, and she called me and said she was ready, so... Don't ever give up on your warm market because I know they're hard because I, uh, I've i been having a struggle with mine, but I finally got my daughter on board. Well, Kim, congratulations to you and your daughter. That's wonderful. It's, it, you know, that following up with our warm market and keeping those contacts alive, even if it's just every few weeks or maybe even every few months, depending on the person. And it seems like we've all got our, our strong suits, don't we? Some people are just just kicking it in the cold markets and some people are kicking it in the warm markets and we've all got an independent and unique personality and so do all of our contacts. So wonderful, Kim. I'm glad you'd share that. And, and I wish success to your daughter and those in Texas and, and the others that have been uh, plagued by natural disasters recently. Well, I also want to share that we had a wonderful um, um, regional and one thing that I did different, I'll be, I've uh, been a part of Renatus for two years and I'm just starting to work with another, um, another one of our community members on, a, um, on my first fix and flip. I, I've been studying and, and really trying to master the marketing side. Um, and I became five star, you know, based on just using, utilizing the systems. But I uh, wanted to share that, um, take advantage and, to the regionals and one thing I'm real, I worked on different that I'm doing to um, actually uh, to improve my self de development is um, I brought me um, I'm actually getting those who have who are who who are experts in the real estate side like Alvin and I did a little video with him a little short video just asked him hey um, where, what's your name? Where, where are you from? How did you find Renatus? What, what, what do you, what do you think about Renatus? And, and, uh, what, uh, what do you think about the community? And, and, um, how many deals have you done? And, uh, I've been actually using that as a marketing tool, uh, on Facebook and, um, and actually anybody in my phone, cause it's a small, um, little, little, uh, video. Uh, any of uh, my guests that have come to our meetings, 
I've just been sending that to them, and I've been getting some response for that. So um, just sometimes, you know, just I, I, the only uh, thing that I purchased, you know, I have an iPhone, but I bought one of those, what do you call it? a selfie stick, and it'll help you to position it to where it looks, it looks very professional. And I was like, wow, I'm, I'm surprised it turned out the way it did. So that, that can, you know, take advantage of, of those nuggets uh, by going and, and getting ready for your uh, regionals in your area. Excellent suggestions. Great, great example of kind of thinking outside the box and finding new successes. And, and maybe it's a little outside your comfort zone when you start using that selfie stick. What a great time to be alive and in Renatus with the technology that we've got, with the internet, with these morning chats. So there's 53 of us all together this morning, just enjoying the morning, beginning our new day of success. Um, well, I thank you again, Kim. Anybody else would like to share anything with us? Well, it's just about 8.30. It's been a little bit different show this morning. Uh, I appreciate everyone that's participated, whether you've just called in and, and been getting new ideas or whether you've been sharing your, your successes and experiences with us. Take this uh, opportunity to go forward and take Shelley's advice and look for that attitude of gratitude and have a successful day. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Ron. Thanks, Ron. Thanks, appreciate Ron. your service. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate you. Great work, Ron. Thank you. Thank you.